so so once we get uh, the soil, you know, once it forms soil, we have to have soil. We have to have soil so the plants can grow, and uh, you know, a lot of things have to happen before you know God decides that we're we're ready to live on on this place, paradise. And uh, you know, that, well, it's got to cool down. All the water has to come rain back down to the to the earth and uh, fill up all the cracks and the ponds. There'll be ponds everywhere. There's going to be like little cricks. You know, it's it's just going to be wonderful. There'll be plenty of water for everybody all over the world, earth. Lots of land. A lot more land than we had before because uh, oceans won't be there. And uh, it's, it's, uh, it's going to be a garden. It's going to be a lush garden for us to live in. Now, not all the water is coming down this time. The outer exterior was frozen. The frozen crystals. And it will stay up there. Why is it going to stay up there? Because it won't, it won't, the gra it'll just stay up there. Just like clouds stay up in the air. But that, that will stay out there. And it'll uh, form a globe around the whole earth. And this is our protection from the sun. We never get sun on our bodies again, ever. And it'll contain the, the warmth around the earth. With all those vents coming through, we're going to have an environment that's perfect throughout the whole earth. We'll never have to wear clothes. Now, then why would we? Because we don't have any sins left. We're going to be living in a, a whole new body and uh, immortal body. Won't have any sins. We won't know uh, anything about the past. So what we what we're born into, we won't. Uh, well, we don't, won't have any argument with God. <laughs> we won't have we won't have any way to compare it to. So I'll get to that. But uh, so anyway, there's going to be a moment of time where all God uh, has already in His plans that the Word. The people of the new government will will get uh, put on the earth first. Now, the new Jerusalem, which you read about in in Revelation, is the new bodies. That's the new bodies where the word will be used to rule from. And uh, I don't know how special they are. They're going to probably be more special than everybody else. Probably not. It doesn't make any difference. The idea was that they're a special group of people. Okay? That's all it is. These are the people who obey God in this age. They, you know, they obeyed Him the whole time. And uh, they're going to be the rulers. When we, when we get those bodies to uh, experience life in, we'll have the knowledge of God. We're going to be the God on earth. Now, when we wake up in these new bodies, we're not going to be able to talk. There's not going to be any communication because we don't have any memories. We don't have anything stored in our memories, I should say. So, the first things we have to do is form a, a, a language. A vocabulary first, and then, and then get a language together. Now, God already knows the kind of language we want. And since He's the one in us, the Word, He will guide us to, to the uh, vocabulary words that He wants us to say. He'll have us go start naming things like He did with Adam in the, this age. Adam had to go name all the animals. Well, that was to start a vocabulary. That wasn't just to go out naming animals. That had to do with language. So... We have to get this language together because that's how God communicates with us. Alright? In the flesh. He'll have us 
speaking to each other, and that's how we're going to learn what God wants and, and what everything about God. We'll learn about our past. We'll learn everything by speaking to each other. Okay? Because God will be talking. We'll be talking to each other. Alright? So we need a la vocabulary and language. And once we get that down, get that ready, then we'll have another couple of adults form, a male and a female. They'll be the first Adam and Eve to start the process of birthing everybody else into paradise. All the former sinners will be reborn through the process of birth, being, well, rebirthing into, and through Adam and Eve and then all their children and their children. So eventually this whole world will be repopulated with all of God's created people. Now I figured it out roughly 200 billion people will be living on this earth. Now, this could be 250, could be 250. I'm just saying 200 billion. Why is that? Because each man is going to be born with a male and female body. There's already been over 100 some billion people born into, just estimated, over 100 billion people. So with all these people having two people now, double, there's going to be 200 billion people. Is there enough room for us? Yes, of course. God can, can make us any size He wants us to. He's going to make us the perfect size for the earth. Now the earth can't change, but He can make us different. We don't have to be six feet tall to enjoy each other. We could be one foot tall. Okay? All the animals could be made smaller. I mean, we could be the size, we could be the size of an ant if you wanted us to be. Does it matter to you and me if we didn't have a past to remember? No. Doesn't matter at all. So, it's going to be perfect. Everything's going to be perfect. We're going to have a perfect life here in paradise. We'll never have to worry again. No more anxieties. We're all going to love each other and our, and our looks won't deceive us because we won't have sins of the flesh. We're going to be perfectly matched for each other. Each, each person for each person. Those in the Word, we're not going to be married to anybody, but we're married to each other. We're going to have a, several, maybe 100, 200,000 people as a group that are going to be together in one mind. God. That's God, okay? And uh, so we'll, we'll work together. We're not going to have children. We're going to have enough baby makers in the world. We're not going to have any children. Ever. Can we enjoy children? Why not? There's going to be people living all around us. Sure we could go and enjoy people and, 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 and the babies. We have all of eternity to enjoy each other. I'm going to stop here.